get the first lot of attack in the second half. Attacking that ruck area again, like we said in the first half, they're not really marking up square from behind the uh, the marker, and they seem to be attacking that hole, and that's where that try come from. Yeah, and just that, just the start that the invitation side didn't want. Yep. Tanika Jazz Bell. Opening try in the second half. Taking New Zealand out to a 6-1 a six one lead. Back to their five-point advantage. Just that passing again. Oh. They didn't kill the board, so the ball's still alive. But sloppy again uh, coming out of the exit place. And uh, yeah, just, they're just compounding for the invitational side at the moment here. they just got to regroup, compose themselves here. Otherwise, this, this could get ugly. And, uh, and Bakani there. Yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, silly yeah. play there. It was unnecessary. Invitational side, be thankful for the opportunity, mate. So a little bit of a let off there for Bayon in the court. An invitational side now just trying to get out of their half. Mm, they're busy for a while. Nice, nice movement there. And she's been the most, uh, yeah, she's been the most penetrating player so far. Is uh, Farmu out? Uh, the invitational side of him. Oh, no. yeah, and that's uh, Saski Anastasia Sakini there. Nine, nine times out of ten, she'll pull that ball in, but unfortunately, that was one that got away there. She had the try line and two point zone wide open to her. And chance goes begging. Yeah, she's certainly got some uh, um, skills there, and I think she's one of their main ball players that needs to get in there a little bit more and sort of direct a, direct a bit of play. She's certainly a dangerous one on one, but she's certainly got some talent, that's for sure. Absolutely, and a uh, big future ahead of her, too, Junior. She's, uh, as I said, part of the Auckland Sevens and, uh, yep. and, and already part of the New Zealand Sevens. She's been over to, um, to uh, Japan already with the New Zealand side. She's uh, uh, in, yes, the, in the, the one in that development. Yep. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, great so opportunities in rugby. I mean, we talked about absolutely, it before. Of, absolutely. You know, if it's, uh, you know, one of those, oh, for mm. the hand there, yeah, I think. But, yeah, we look at the talent that's on display today. That's wonderful for all our viewers at home. You know, we're looking at six of our girls in the Māori team that are in, uh, in the NRL 9's um, mm -hmm. training squad as well. Wow. And we've got, um, we've got um, you know, Crystal Rota, Serena Fiso and Amber Kani who were in the 9's last year and the year before, and they're, they're, they're NRL 9's champions, as well as the Anzac League champions at the moment. So there's some pedigree on display at the moment, man. It's wonderful mm. to see. And the good thing, you can still, you know, can continue to show that talent uh, in the summer through this code. Because it's going Absolutely, really yeah. Well, so many of the skills are transferable, you know, and uh, although it's a, obviously a sport unto itself, but there's mm. still so much that, that, that is transferable. And obviously the fitness is there and uh, your, your catch pass, you know, focus on defense, your kicking game, communication, there's uh, ruck plays, your lines, and yeah, lots, lots you can work on and, and, and transfer from both rugby and league into, into tag and... I think that's part of why its appeal is so so good for our people as well, and why we've got uh, such a, a huge growth over the last five years in particular. Oh, I just see that oh, coming. I thought five, she was going to throw the dummy, but she's offside. So a bit fortunate there. I think she came a little bit too quick off the line. Well, I would have loved to have seen the, 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 yeah, foot, the foot race between her and Faumu. I think Faumu was yeah had had a little bit of a. A jump on it, but yeah, no, there was a tag. Been, would have been interesting to see. Yeah. There. So the intercept was complete, but um, invitation down. <laughs> New Zealand invitation dodge a bullet there. Would have been uh, good to see that uh, pan out. This Crystal Rota takes the ball forward. Serena Fiesel there coming back. Crystal Rota. Showing that one, <laughs> you just cannot take your eye off her. Eh? She's just so dangerous. 
It looks a variety too, really. Probably ball in the hand, whether she runs or pass. See how the halves are going to the line, mm. though. It's wonderful, you know, and that's, and that's, that's how you make create those breaks for your, your, your runners outside as well. So it's uh, just a good attacking play from the Māoris. Uh, I think um, that saying, and a lot of sayings they have, and, and when you watch the games of the league or rugby about taking that ball to the line, uh, I mean, it's a classic example of really being a threat. Yeah. And, uh, and and these girls show it really well. It's quite natural, but um, if done done well like that, and, and the girls are showing that that Altea Māori team um, just really stresses defensive lines. Sure. Nice ball. There's a linking up there. Just a hip there. No, uh, nice, nice, nice uh, little attacking play from the yep. Invitational side there. Starting to string together a few passes now. Get a bit of flow. Some continuity in their play now. Oh, good oh, skills. Poor pass there. Penalty. But penalty it's a penalty there. there. Um, offside, was it? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. Offside. And oh, that's, uh, that's gives them another set. So It's great for New Zealand Invitational now. And... Uh, Great field position with a, with a, another set. Oh, as Serena tries to get the uh, Serena get, tries to get in there. Try, Mum trying to show her daughters how to how to do it. Oh, she got it down. Oh, Great try. Yes. Opportunist try there to Tyler Ikinofo Boy Boyvade. Great try there. That's. Uh, Brings it up. Oh. Two points now for the New Zealand professional side. Takes that score out to 6-2. She did really well too. Very clever because uh, she made sure she forced that ball down before her knees hit the ground. Yes. And, uh, you know, kept the nappy in that dummy half area. So, spotted the gap. Well played. That's right. Yeah, and, and, I, and I think that they, uh, the, the uh, defenders for Māori got, got uh, caught yep. unawares. They got caught off guard. They didn't expect it from, uh, from the dummy half. So, congratulations there. Good on here. Well done. Good hands oh, there nice down the wing. Movement. Good defence. And Shayla Ball there to play the ball. It's the rotor now. Fiesel back into first receiver. Yeah, bodies in motion though. Yeah, you see so much that, wrapping just, and pushing up. You know, just bringing that extra hands, getting that double touch. Yeah. Looking at there. Through. Oh, oh. It's gone through. Some quality there from the New Zealand uh, Otero Māori there. Lovely work on this left edge there. And just to see the pocket when they were doing their wraps and they're coming back in and feeding back in, in the yep. field. You know, the defence were just getting mm. tired out, marking, marking, marking those three ladies. And uh, so they're just um, a wonderful, uh, wonderful... I, th I think I mentioned putting. before that, you know, they really need to get a, 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 a person uh, on the back line square from the marker. Yeah. Because they seem to be attacking in that hole. And, uh, and, and again, good players like... Serena's identified that and just cut off the dummy half and just going straight for that hole. Yeah, but they're not even wait for, for, their, for, their, for their marker rather than attacking out of marker, mm. just, just being passive and coming just, back yeah, and holding. Just, just linking up and staying connected. And yeah. so uh, a defenders either side to push up and tie yeah. in with that marker rather than oh, the marker trying to be aggressive. Oh. Oh. Right, forward pass and it's just going to be a tough sort of last sort of quarter of, of the second half and, and you know the New Zealand invitation side need to finish yeah. strong. But all credit to, to John Sakini and and, and, uh, yep. and and Serena because this side is so young as well. They're just going to get yep. better. You know, and they've, you know, they've achieved really well to get to this grand final. And, and like mm. they say, loss is only loss if you don't learn. Adrian, you know the story and it's about you know, what you gain from it and your experience and That's what right. you learn from it as well. It makes you a better player for the future and these skills are only going to get better. And, and we've got a World Cup in two years' time, so you know that's, that's, uh, t you learn some lessons from here and, and, and take it through and, and grow from it. But uh, you know, I think the big one, the World Cup in a couple of years, is, is yeah. something that everybody's looking forward to. Absolutely. And you know, the, like when you're looking at girls who are 16 and playing a women's open, <laughs> you know, right. in the world's the oyster, they're only going to yeah. get better every year, yeah. you know? And there's Sasuke there uh, Sakini there. Anastasia milks the penalty there.
lots of uh, lots of oh I saw that coming oh, yeah. uh, could have been interesting she uh, oh, no. great she oh, grasped that one but uh, unfortunately not yeah she could have been under the black dot so to speak but uh, New Zealand invitation get another set of six and let's see how they're going looking forward to Anastasia I could just see her down on that left side looking up and calling a play so I'm looking forward to oh yeah as you can see she's keen on yeah, it she's, she's, there's a play coming so let's see what happens here there she goes looks like a uh, unders ball with contact there she's closing that gap see it's a start but they need more of it and they need more yeah. of their girls to do that more often as well yeah. there's just not enough of it from New Zealand invitation and it's uh, just a little bit too easy for for um the uh, Māori defence to shut down. You gotta, you've got to constantly do that and just more nice of the girls working off the ball. Will do it. Here she is, Awani again. Oh, nice little play there. She's gone through again. No tag. Nice tag there. That was a nice tag from Sheila Ball. Yeah, but uh, far moves de definitely goes, been yeah. the most most threatening player so far. Late cut back to her. Nice wrap. Long ball. Ooh. Oh, that's a bit of... Get on side, Mum. Yeah, Sasuke there trying to pick up her mum, Serena, on the on the edge there, but Mum was up a little bit flat. Pass was wasn't quite good enough. But those are the ones there you want you want your your links and your other middles to really chop on some lines. And, exactly. And she's sitting there, she's created a, a hole, and mm. you know everybody's sort of staying back, and that's you know it's, it's a frustration for all ball players. You know you just want our yeah. links to come and yeah, punch onto that punch advanced on the line. line. Yeah, just draw some people in. Definitely ball there, taking oh. the ball forward. Unfortunately, there'll be a contact, a, a, a contact call. But uh, exactly what we're talking about inside that gap, and yeah. it's just going to be a block hole in behind yeah. the ruck. Yeah, that's right. They're just attacking it, aren't they? Getting major yardage and major dividends that are running that as well. Oh, nice tag there. We're stretching, you know what I mean? They're yep. not really solid. And we'll a, uh, lost coming around the so numbers, Powell. they'll get so another set. We can you're just see the runners. There's yeah. so many ball runners there. Bodies in motion, you know. Just uh, a credit to their uh, uh, yeah, uh, the performance today. They're just playing wonderful tag, the um, the Māori girls. You're in tower. Stop kissing that girl. You must come and collect your tag and drop. She is in the headman area. Yeah, and the uh, Invitational side give away another penalty here and you just sort of feel it's inev inevitable that the Motors will score again, Junior, and back in this position yep. here. And uh, as I said, back-to-back mm. sets on defence for the Invitational side. Good defence from uh, Sakini there. Corners coming. Oh, some of the side. Uh, everybody Ooh. knows forward pass. Yeah, yeah. Grace Total here running her, her yeah, rugby was, league, the lines was, uh, there. Yeah, yeah. It was a line ball at best, but, uh, you know, it's the ref's call. Sometimes in rugby they say, you know, forward pass, so long as it goes back from the hand and it yeah. goes forward. And I, I don't know about you, but forward pass is still forward pass. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, it's, a, it's a tough call, and we think all the rest what they do, but sometimes, you know. Maybe the sun, they, they have a bit too much time in the sun. I'm not sure. It's changed a lot since 95, though, I think, you know, Junior. Like with the prior to that, there were some real hard case calls in rugby with some of the refs. Yeah. Yeah, but even in, the, in our game here, you know, the game's still developing as well, and there's, yep. there's, there's still tweaking stuff. And as always, you're going to get, you know, different uh, interpretations yep. from individual referees. Of course. That's why it does pay if you, if you are um, able to, to try and speak to the refs beforehand if there's any. Anyone's uh, questions you want to get out of the way, it's always good to try and find out prior to the game starting before, rather than uh, getting tries disallowed or yeah. penalties against you because you didn't realise that that was his interpretation. Yep. So, And that's exactly what it is, mm. all just different interpretations. But at the end of the day, what he says goes, and or she. Um, Absolutely. The good teams know how to deal with it and, and, and make sure they roll with the punches, to be honest. She saw. Oh, it's a lovely variation of footwork. Hitting lines, yeah. keeping that Checking ball alive. Dropping that hand, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I think she knew it too. I think some of the, some of the old league tendencies yeah. came out there. The little, the little <laughs> that thing. natural instinct. That's just like Ruben Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, he certainly does it on occasion. The Ruben is almost dropping the shoulder every time. Every time, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we, uh, so, oh. hey, come on, Rubes. Hey. Oh, yeah. No shoulder, mate. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. He'd get, he'd get anxious <laughs> on defence too, wouldn't he? He's <laughs> just trying to squaring up. He's lining the shoulder up. That's it. That's it. Yeah. 30 years of tackling with their right shoulder. I know. Old habits are hard, hard to die, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> Sakini there just trying to have a little dance there and create something here. Yeah. Forward. So just again, you know, just losing a bit of shape there, the New Zealand, New Zealand team, and all oh, good hands, got numbers on the outside there, still through. Oh, she didn't realise yeah, she, she wasn't did. tagged, gave herself up there. Crystal Rota here looking for an option here. Takes it back. That's two. Oh, oh just that easy, easy just left foot step. Just a consummate yeah. professional as Serena Fissel mm. didn't, didn't bother going for the two-pointer, just put the ball down, take the one point. But Halsey quickly identified the hole off the left foot this time. We saw the first half was off the right foot for the opening try. Mm. And there off the left foot. Both sides are always, um, always interested in steppers. I mean, mm. you know, the classic is a Benji Marshall jump sure. step. Sure. But uh, when, I, when I see Fissel there, it's almost like a Christian Keller just a step and drive. Yeah, yes, exactly. It yes. drives off that, you yeah, know, kind of jump up. And yeah, good uh, comparison too, yeah step and drive through the hole and that second step is the one that, that exactly through, yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah, accelerates yeah. through that hole and, it's a nice one and she's like got it. a really good off both no. feet and uh, yeah. those ones because that, that, for, for a try scorer yeah. uh, that, that, that's a better step that's yeah, right that's right. much better for a half for yeah for, for, that's for right for that's that's right and yes. And, yes. and sometimes they only need a half gap and, and oh, gather sure. league but you know, you, mm. the sort in this game here if you can you can get a little half gap and then it's just all about stretching out and getting this little bit of material that's on your hip exactly but again, you know, the, 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 a step like that would do wonderful in sevens as well, you know? Yep. And that's how, you know, I remember Christian oh. Cullen, he was outstanding at sevens. But also outstanding at fifteens as well, but yeah, it's a beautiful skill, beautiful skill. And both feet. Yeah, but as, as the game winds down, we'll yep. probably come close to being our player of the match, dude. What do you reckon? Yeah, oh, it's pretty hard not to uh, look at her. I mean, you know, she's not only scoring, she's creating, and um, yes. and she's certainly getting off the line of defence. So, you know, yes. in terms of all those facets and skills oh, that we look at, you know, it's hard to so beat. This, this is what the, what the great players do when it comes to time for the big occasion, they step up, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. That, and that's so right. just a wonderful, uh, you know, it's a, a captain's yeah. knock. They call it in cricket, you know. There's uh, Sasuke there going through, yeah. Sakini. Tag there, and uh, certainly give a lot of credit to the losing side. And and Sakini's been working hard off the ball. Yeah, sure. Her and uh, uh, Farmu have, have, yeah, have been good. Farmu and uh, yeah. you know, uh, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough uh, on the losing side. Oh, for sure. But you know, there's a team of the future, as, as I said earlier, with so much youth and and uh, John Sakini, their coach. You know, he'll no, yep. no, no doubt develop them over the next two to three years, and I'm sure that we'll see mm. the side become a real threat as the uh, as as they get older and more experienced. At the moment, I'm sure that their baby's only like 13 or 14, and they've got 16, mm. and Sasuke's 18 or 19, wow. 19 now, so they're only babies, and they're only going to get better. And again, during the winter time, they'll pick up some other skills from the other codes, the yeah. winter codes that yeah. they go and play, and uh, even the netballers too. Yeah. There's a little break there from the Altair model, and that's one of the things too I've noticed that's been um, quite um, evident with the Altair model is there quick play the balls you know they don't overrun too much yes and um, they get here put the ball down so they're just going uh, <laughs> just when i say the surrender call was there the call, yeah, <laughs> oh god commentators curse yeah but uh Typical. you know we just is our far and, uh, not, not sort of running too far back and you know yeah, just getting like back and just giving uh, the, the defense time to, to to set so yeah the men are classics for that yeah you? Uh, and i say the australian teams are very good at doing that absolutely they, they're smart they're, they're smart and and you know, they get a good roll on. It's almost like a play the ball and touch. Yeah. Well, you were at the Worlds last year and they just dominated the whole tournament. That's and right. That's right. They won the finals. And Australia and Australian and Barbarians, Barbarians won, won yeah, every game it. bar one. Think, which uh, uh, the Porirua men won the under-21s. Oh. And they played as New Zealand, New Zealand under-21s. <laughs> oh. Still alive, we're still going to play right to the end. And oh, there's a penalty. They might play the penalty on contact. Yep. 
and grab uh, something here. Uh, New Zealand Invitational, there you get, get one more play to try and finish off with a try. She'll bring out a little bit of brilliance, there's no sweeper there. She'll have a step, uh, step in. Oh, they just put a sweeper back. Yeah. There she goes, great. But, uh, great movement off her feet. Yeah. And but deserved winners here. Aotearoa Maori 2016 Women's Open Champs. Congratulations and uh, commiserations to the Invitational side. But a wonderful performance and uh, and uh, and a great display of uh, skill and uh, and teamwork from the Aotearoa Maoris. Put a lot of pressure on them uh, on on their attack, and I think their defence really won that game. But I mean, we can't go off uh, some of the uh, attacking prowess. Uh, well, brilliant. Brilliant on attack too, and some uh, real key and experienced players in there. So, congratulations to yeah, Aotearoa Māori, and well done yeah. to the New Zealand invitation. Uh, Sydney and Saito, we'll look out for as we mentioned before. Absolutely, and uh, now very, very uh, good performance from New Zealand Māori uh, Women's uh, Open champions for Oceania 2016. Congratulations.